Have you ever thought to yourself, what's the best way to travel when you want to bring wine home? Well, we've had this thought several times as we continue to go to different wine regions around the world. And today we've decided to test three products for you. A wine suitcase and two very popular wine sleeves. In this video, we're going to show you the features and benefits of each, as well as actually test it with some bottles of wine on our upcoming flight from here in Atlanta to Richmond, Virginia. So first, we're going to start with this wine sleeve from Makino. I'll add the link in the description here in the bottom if you're interested in this. This one you do have to pump up with the pump they give you. We'll see how long it takes me to do it. So there are seven chambers in this one, and you have to get all seven filled up. Here we go. That's what she said. <laughs> Can't wait to see the comments on this. Stop laughing. <laughs> oh, this one chamber didn't inflate. It said in the instructions that I read, if a chamber does not inflate, try rubbing the one-way valve marked with the green arrows or recycling the symbols to make sure the air goes in without any issues. So this chamber right here didn't inflate, so I'm just going to rub it. That's what she said. Still nothing. Not starting hot, are we guys? But hey, this is why we test it. Oh, there it goes, there it goes. That's what she said. <clears throat> that was inflated right here. So let's talk about this one. First of all, easy to assemble. Ah, six out of 10, because clearly this one chamber didn't inflate. Something that I did notice about this one is that there is a hole here. That's what she said. And per the instructions, once you've inflated it, you can never deflate it. So this is one of those things when you're thinking about future use, it's great to have on hand, but I'm not sure where you'd put it. You store it in a closet like this. Maybe you would keep the wine in it. We're gonna go ahead and put this lovely Pinot Grigio from Trader Joe's in this one for our travel. There she goes. Let's look at number two, which is just a, another wine sleeve that is not inflated. So we're gonna go ahead and add the Prosecco to this wine sleeve. Again, I will add the link in the description below if you're interested in it. But this wine sleeve is much easier to use. All you have to do is unvelcro it and it opens up so there's really no assembly required. And then it's padded on the inside with some plastic bubbles here so you can see. I'm just gonna go ahead and slip it right in. That's what she said. The the cool thing about this particular one is that it is leak proof. By having this double rollover, it seals it in. And this is a great option for that. It holds obviously a whole bottle of Prosecco here. One of the things to note is it is very insulated. Like it feels pretty strong, but in comparison to this one, this one does feel a bit thicker. That's what she said. However, I do like that this is completely sealed. Where this one, if you're worried about it breaking, I don't know how it would keep the liquid in. You'd probably need to travel with tape or something in order to secure it completely. But these are the two that we're gonna use for this. And these would be the two cheaper options. This would be great if you wanna put these in between clothes in a checked bag and maybe not upgrade yourself to the wine suitcase that we're gonna talk about next. These are great options if you have one or two, even maybe three bottles that you're looking to bring back. I think I prefer this one better just off the bat. So if you're trying to budget, you know, the stuff in your suitcase and what room you have, this one you need to keep in mind, it's a bit bigger as it relates to the size of it. Now let's move on to the wine suitcase and we got it off Amazon, link in the description. We ended up going with the 10 bottle one. We didn't need the 12. I'll go ahead and get her open and show you all the fun stuff that is inside. The bag itself is hard sided, which is nice. It does have four spinner wheels on it and it has a TSA lock in the event that you want to lock it. It also has an extender, which I think is really interesting because if you are gonna go ahead and pack clothes or you even wanted to add an additional layer in here, you could very easily for just extra security for your wine. It's very easy to use, pretty lightweight. We specifically picked this one because we liked the way it was compartmentalized. Each side comes with two different packing cubes and in the packing cubes you have wine cutouts take the wine cutout out and then you can fill the packing cube but it does hold three in this one and it holds two in this one this would be a great option you could take out the styrofoam beforehand and then you would have these going empty over and then you'd have them coming back if you didn't need all 10 bottles you could actually just remove these and then you could put your clothes or storage or anything else that you might need shoes on this side there's a lot of nice features about this bag which i'm really really liking is that it comes with a lot of different 
ways to secure it. So once you do put your wine in one of the sides, it has this nice buckle on the flaps here and they buckle in so that you can double secure the wine that you've purchased. Just a nice little feature, it helps keep everything in place. We're gonna go ahead and use the Bay Moon Savion Blanc and we're gonna test it out. So what we're gonna do is we're actually just gonna go ahead and check this bag. We're flying Southwest, bags fly free. This is the perfect time to test it out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pack in here these three bottles of wine like so. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take this and this in my other bag that we're flying with and then we'll be seeing you in Richmond and see how it does. We went ahead and checked the bag. We went through security. Now we're gonna go and board the plane and we will see you on the flip side of baggage claim. We just got the bag from baggage claim and because you would normally check this in an airport, you're not opening it here. We're going to ride home and we'll inspect it there. We made it to Richmond and let's see how she held up. They all held up, it's great. The first thing that we got was a Prosecco from Costco. So this bag held up beautifully. The cool thing about this bag is that it is liquid proof. So when you fold it over and it wraps around, if it does shatter within here, don't worry about it. So far, one for one. Let's look at number two. So option number two was the inflatable. And I wasn't sure how this one was gonna hold up just because it's open here. If it actually did break, it would get everywhere. But it didn't break, two for two. Last but not least, the actual wine suitcase and we are three for three on our wine test here which is good to know whether you want the wine suitcase or you want to do a sleeve all the options worked out really nicely so if you're looking to go somewhere like a wine region and you're looking to get a lot of different types of wine 110 percent i would tell you to get the wine suitcase it's a peace of mind and it makes sure that you actually have secure bottle placement especially if you're paying for the expensive bottles this is definitely the way to do it depending on if you want to save a little bit of money i would say this wine sleeve over this this one because this one isn't airtight so you would need to have some tape with you to make sure the wine doesn't spill i would definitely recommend this one more even though it doesn't feel as secure you can see that i taped it up and it's holding air in there pretty well i would say this for the wine sleeve and we would definitely recommend this white suitcase now we have a whole blog post on the experience and the different products which is linked below in the description have you ever tried one of these products have you had good or bad experiences let us know we'd love to know your thoughts up next it's a good we have a wine suitcase because we're about to move to Italy. Make sure you hit subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Stay thirsty for adventure. Cheers, y'all.